time, there was a very friendly otter named Otto. And he lived with his mum and dad in lake with beavers and stuff and things and they all held hands. So one day, Otto the otter <laughs> decided to go on an adventure. And he left out from home and he took his sandwich in his little otter pocket. <laughs> he set off. As he was walking along or swimming along, I don't know, haven't decided if he's gone in the lake or if he's on the land. They can do whatever they like, otters. So he kept going. They spotted a butterfly. He's like, ah, oh, it's a beautiful butterfly. Follow it. So he did. And as he went further and further away following this butterfly, he suddenly realised he was lost. <gasps> I didn't know what to do. He was just an otter. He didn't know things about locations and geography. Oh no. So he looked around to see who he could get to help him. The first person he saw was a big old heron <gasps> named Harold. Oh. Harold the heron. <laughs> so he asked him, Mr. Heron, sir, do you know the way back to my home? The heron looked at him and said, I don't believe I do, Otto. I'm really sorry. So Otto continued on his way and tried to find somebody else to help him. <sighs> it was at this time that he realised that he was actually Sorry, a little pardon. bit hungry. <laughs> so he got into his otter pocket and got out his little sandwich with pilchards in it. And then he ate it. Felt a bit better. Yeah, knew a little bit more now. Felt a little bit better. So then he decided to ask the rabbit that was just nearby. Mr. Rabbit! Do you happen to know the way home? I don't believe I do, Otto. I'm really sorry, but I don't actually know where your home is. So, Otto was well and truly lost. The heron couldn't help him, and neither could the rabbit. So he kept going. And finally, he came across Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver was a little bit busy building his dam. And so, Otto asked him, Mr. Beaver, I've asked everyone, please help me. Do you know the way home? Well, considering we're fairly similar, yes I do, because I happened to pass down that earlier today, and I did happen to see your house. So, they held hands, and they swam down the stream, and finally, Otto got back to his mum and his dad. And they all held hands together, and swam in a wonderful swimming circle of love. The end. Aww. Aww. Yay for Otto the Otter! <laughs>